Welcome back guys, JDog here again and we are back with another tutorial. Now I'm going to be honest, I'm quite excited about this one. I've been waiting to make another one about this for quite some time and this is going to be how to convert a weld. Uh, for this video it's going to be specifically from Java to Bedrock because I've not managed to find a really good method for the other way around yet. However, this method does work really well. And on a side note, I just want to add that I've just reached 500 subscribers. So thank you very much. That is really appreciated. That is a really awesome number. I can't believe I actually made it there. I never thought I'd get past 100. Um, apparently some people want to listen to me so um either way my last converting world uh, video done fairly well hitting over 20k views because it was working really well however despite my many warnings we we have got a few angry uh, comments on here because obviously it stopped working after the newest update so i have tirelessly scoured the internet every app everything that i could try and find there were some dodgy things on there a lot of people trying to charge for services like this which i'm not going to delve into to be honest and there's a lot of dodgy sites claiming to be able to do this however one day as I was scouring through the Microsoft Store, I happened to bump into something which is a game changer. Like I explained, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be um, creating a Java world, we're going to be converting it over to Bedrock, and this is super easy. Now, I'm not even joking how easy this is. You are simply going to come onto your Microsoft Store, and this is also why this is such a great method because it's also a secure one, it's not like a third party app that you got to download. This actually comes from the store. Next up, you're going to search for JE2BE. Um, go ahead and as you can see I've downloaded it. It is absolutely free. You can just download it straight from the store. Once you've downloaded it, go ahead and open up your app and it's going to open up like this. Now as you see this is actually linked straight to my Java account so it's read all of my single player worlds already. As you can see I've got all the worlds listed there already. It really is that easy. So let me just close this down. Let's go make a completely brand new world on Java and let's just make sure that um, it all converts over with the new blocks and stuff like that. And another use for this of course is that you can also go ahead and you can download different maps um, from obviously Planet Minecraft, any other place that gives you downloadable maps that you can share and then you can convert them into bedrock meaning that you can use some of the really awesome creations that you can find on there and you can just make it into a bedrock level add some command blocks and you got yourself some mini games spawns and loads of cool stuff like that so let's get into it and i do apologize if the screen does go a bit buggy um i don't usually use this recording software um to actually play and record myself but either way that was my last test orange let's create a new world we're going to do it on creative just so we can make something that we won't forget um and let's name it i don't know red just so we can find it so let's go ahead let's create world so we've loaded up in the world um let's just create something that we won't miss uh let's use uh which one here gold door we we'll use gold door with the new texture obviously since the new 117 now i do want to add that obviously this is prior to the 118 coming out so i'm not obviously 100 percent certain that this will work going um forward past this however this does seem to be working at the moment and i'm pretty happy it is now the reason i'm making a big tower to the top um is that i simply just want to be able to make sure that this tower is still here and everything is as is um another thing to add is that it depends on how much you load so obviously i've only load up a certain amount of chunks around me on a new world which means it won't take very long to actually do it however it will obviously only have the chunks that i have loaded which is uh, this big circle around me apart from that it will just try and generate everything else from new um obviously that won't really matter with your maps because you've already pre-generated everywhere that you built so that's going to come on over um when you convert it so we've got our big old uh, line right in the sky oh seems like we've hit the clouds i don't know why i looked up there <laughs> but either way so we got um we got that let's go ahead let's save and quit let's just make sure that's saved there we go red we got that so let's close that down now if we type in uh, je2be you're going to find that if you scroll down you're going to find or i'm going to find um, one called red and as you can see right there we have red so let's just select red we're going to go to next oh before actually if i go back if you want to select it and it's not actually on your single player worlds perhaps it's one that you downloaded you can go to select from other directories here and you can just go ahead and find it in the folder that it is uh, however mine is in so let's just go to next let's go to start and this is where it's going to do the uh, conversion obviously for me this is going to be very short it's, there we go it's done already if you've got a larger world just be a bit more patient it'll just take a little bit more time for it to convert all the chunks over um, as you can see there it asks you where you want to save it so i'm just going to save it straight into my windows 10 minecraft folder you can save it into a custom folder or you can export it um, as an mc world file i'm just going to go straight into minecraft there and as you can see that's been saved i can now close this program down and i'm just going to open up uh, minecraft i'm just going to use the new launcher one thing that i have noticed actually is 
my old launcher isn't saved my single player worlds whereas with a new launcher it's moved everything over there and that's where it gets saved so a little side note in case you're also having that trouble so let's just go ahead to play let's go to our single players and as you can see right there we have red it is uh, blacked out at the moment or sort of gray gray white blacked out um but that will change once we do go in as you can see there orange does change once you do load in uh, let's go over let's just make sure that our tower is still up in the sky and whilst that's loading up guys if you haven't got yourself a minecraft server head on over to seeker host we've got some some really really great deals at the moment i'm almost certain it's some of the cheapest uh, hosting that you can actually get around we've improved everything even our bedrock servers our java servers our mod packs and everything else just keeps getting improved every single week we're trying to make this the best service that there is so if you haven't got one already head on over check it out and grab yourself a deal now i'm very happy to say that we do in fact have our big gold line we're obviously in bedrock now as you can tell when i pause uh, we've got the bedrock screen right there um, and all the chunks have loaded up really nicely now um, I will show you what I was talking about before obviously we only loaded up a certain amount so there we go so that line there is where we our chunks were loaded up till so that's not actually a bug that's just how much of the world that we had loaded up so obviously it's only converted up till here and then this line going forward it's just generated um new sort of terrain and world type obviously had you have built and had you have come out here previously on your world that will also be saved and converted over so really fingers crossed for 1.18 um or the next update that's coming out on the 30th that in fact um it will just do the same thing so it should just convert everything else um and then obviously everything that you haven't explored unfortunately you do get a bit of a line or a chunk border um, but you can see it loads up everything and converts it over from your last world anything that you haven't explored in chunks it'll just generate new stuff so hopefully for the 1.18 uh, or the next new update even um, that's also going to be the case meaning that you can keep your old worlds and everything else will be loaded up around it nicely so thanks for watching don't forget to hit that like button of course and subscribe if you haven't already of course it is greatly appreciated so i suppose let's go and try and push it further than 500 now maybe make the goal 600 i don't know either way thanks for watching bye bye